at wet, we're going to get tanker in, start trying to suck some of this water out. Tidying up in here now, we've got the water fixed. Uh, we've put this pipe round, it's got insulation in there. We're going to put another plastic pipe round there, we're going to fill it with in, in, um, expanding foam. So it insulates it a lot better. <coughs> We had to move that water tank so there wasn't enough, wasn't enough pressure there for the water. So we've had to put it higher and we've put it a bit closer to the pipe because it was quite a distance. It had to go over header tank. Somebody was asking the other day, why do we use header tanks? Basically, we medicate in that tank so it doesn't go back up the main line for one. Um, then Oh, for two reasons, if we ever have like a, a water pipe burst on farm, we've got a thousand litres in there to feed the pigs until we get it fixed. It's not completely, they're not completely out of water straight away. So that's another reason why we do that. But, but shed's just about done. Obviously we was waiting for some more rails to come in tomorrow then we can get the kennel up. I've swept out floors ready. Uh, get, the gale breakers are coming tomorrow, so we'll get them put on on Thursday. This is going to be the feeding area. Um, obviously, we're going to shut when we have to scrape through. We'll shut this side as well, and we can scrape through that back bit there or the muck. Hopefully, that's where they're going to go, go to the toilet. But yeah, just about done. Oh, did I show you them sheets? Oh, that's what I was on the building the other day. I, I was putting them sheets on, so the water drips into the gutter now not into the building because that's why these water troughs are full and it was all wet around here because it was dri dripping off that yorkshire board and straight into the pen so yeah we're about ready to go not much left to do we're just on we're now filling this uh this old slurry pit in with some rubble um because this is where we're going to store our straw this year uh, we're going to get three eight footers beside each other that's first little bucket in then what we're going to pat it down then we're going to put uh some some rubble on some fine rubble then some black plane road planings put some more rubble in we've rubbled this and we've got some clean rubble what we're going to put on top then obviously we'll have to pat that down then we'll put some some normal stone some road planers on top Morning guys, Thursday morning. I've just been through scrape through, through all good in there. I've just put uh, the V5 and the keys in the fast track, so don't forget. I just need to empty it all out now. Uh, I've just had a look up. I had to leave a little bit early because I was picking kids up from school, but I'm just looking. We got this, my dad finished this off yesterday. So we just need a bit of black hard, black stone in there now. I'll probably go over it a few times with loader again, just pack it down and everything, but it will be settled. Um, to walk to the field and check the outdoor pigs. They're going tomorrow, <coughs> so thank goodness it's been all this rain. Just can't get rid of it water because once the muck gets high enough on hurdles, we tried to have a go yesterday with slurry tank here. We got a little bit out, but it wasn't really a success. Um, so yeah, they're going. Um, but there's nothing we can do, plenty of straw, just as soon as you put straw in it's that much water in 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 the pen it just doesn't really do much so we're gonna have to try well we don't have to try because we're going tomorrow but yeah they're bloody good pigs though i'll just jump in pen see what they need for food but you can just see they're still we bedded these up again yesterday and the straw's gone and obviously we tried it with slurry tanker, get rid of water, but we've done our best. So, like I say, we're going tomorrow. Just walk down, there's a few empty. What I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna film to the top today because uh, obviously if we're going first thing in the morning, I want these troughs empty. But look at that puddle there. You just can't believe how much rain we've had, but like I'm saying, like once the muck gets this high, it can't get underneath the barriers, so it holds it like a swimming pool. <sighs> a bit like that corner there. 
it's all muck, so the water, that's just water, but it just can't get away. You can, when you lift the barriers, well, you, we've tried to lift the barriers up, and it just doesn't come, because the muck is probably about that high, so the water can't get away. So the, it just it just sits in the pen. Right, we'll go check the backs now. But we've tried, you can see where we've tried to lift up here, there's a bit of water come out. Just checking these flat depths, pigs. She's grown, look at the size of her. Good pigs. We had a problem with tail baiting um, about two or three weeks, or two or three weeks in, but it's kind of settled down now. I've got to power wash all these rooms. <laughs> They're doing really well actually in here now. I thought that they were looking a bit backwards a few weeks ago, but they picked up. Loving it. Gonna have a busy few weeks because uh, once all the, the rest of these pigs go next week, there's all them huts to move, that to wash out, them to muck out. The scrape through to muck out, all re bed plus combining, cultivating. I've got some bird seed to drill, it's all gonna come at once. So, my sun's out, lovely one with a coffin there. These guys could just do with a little bit of straw. Just need to check the Jenny. We run out the other week. Um, he said it had some fuel in it and the gauge was stuck. But we rung the company up and they said sometimes it get it, it sticks inside the tank. So I'll flip you around. Yeah, plenty of fuel in there. Just getting some food for the outdoor pigs. Oh, this is stuck. I'm going to have to get that stick and give it um, a fudge. Stuck in bin. I'll have to put the down. Uh, we've got full bucket now. I've done one already, but the bit, it was all stuck in silo bin. I had to tap it a few times with um, a, uh, like a big long stick. So we're going to fill some more troughs up. Just taking my toolbox off the, the side of the, the fast track. Because obviously I'll put this on the tools in the new tractor when it comes and my fire extinguisher. I might be able to get that in cab in the new tractor instead of toolbox. I had nowhere to put it in the in the fast track. Uh, I've just emptied all the cab out of my bits. I didn't, to be fair, I didn't have much in there. I might just I might take the carpet out. What I'll take out. I took the tennis balls out, but put in my back arm so the cables don't get caught on the back arms. There's some instructions for weavering and some uh, mounts for my tablet and my phone. Hey right, guys, I've just put the header on. I'm just going to start everything up. Um, see, see what happens. So obviously, I, I haven't put the header on since last year. Uh, there's quite a few knives to change. Uh, I'll, I'll see you have a look at the header. We'll put her in gear. You see the knife cutting. Side to side. Check all the knives. It'll soon um, get shiny once we get into some, some, some barley. But I've got, so the last time I cut, we were cutting up 14.8%. Right, obviously these are my PTOs to turn it on and off. Uh, I might just open the grain tank actually now to see if that all works. Because we put a new ram on it last year. You see that? I don't know if you can see it. There's a big clump of summer there. I thought it was a bird's nest for a second then. Oh, I think it might be. That's falling into the tank. I'm going to have to climb into the tank and get that. She's 
is opened up anyway. Um, can't remember, see there, it's opened up now. But it's fallen into the green tank. There it is there. So yeah, they must be in a little bird's nest there. Right, we'll just put up to speed on the here. Okay, I've got no warning lights. What I'll do, I might change it to winter barley. So if I go to crop and I go to winter barley, press that, press load class adjustments, press that, then it'll adjust the combine to the settings it needs to be for winter barley. So when I get into the field, it's already set up. Changing the refreshing drum, the fan speed, concave, upper sleeve, lower sleeve, feed rate. There you go. Lower sim adjustment, not responding. I better go and have a look at what's going on there. Right, turn the revs down. We'll go and have a jump out and have a look at the, the lower sim. Oh joy, getting this uh, lower sieve. I'm gonna have to take the try get in. Take, take the left hand side sieves out. Um, then have a look down because you can't really see anything below up from the top sieves and see if a wire. I've just spoke to Matt. He says a wire might have come broken off on the motor. So I'll do that next. Right, what I've done so far is taken that off the back of a combine. I've just taken this bracket off the back of the sieves so I can start pulling the sieves out now because uh, I need to get to the motor what's underneath there then I'm going to I've just spoke to Phil from class he says switch the motor from the bottom to the top to make sure to see if it is a motor what's gone so right, I'll get these sieves out next got one sieve completely out I'm just trying to get this one out it doesn't seem it, like it wants to come out but that's that's what I need to change have a look down there that's what I need to change See if it works. We'll have a look. What I've action now is to take the bottom motor off. I'm going to replace it with a top one and see if it works. Right, I've just swapped the two motors around. That was a top one. Now what's going to be the bottom one? The bottom one's now the top one. So now I'm going to connect. I need 13 and 10. So I'm going to go back underneath, um, I need to connect this back to the lower sieves. Once I've reconnected it, I can, ow, it's bang my head, I need to reconnect it to there, look. So once I reconnect this, I can give the bottom sieves a go and make sure it's working. If it's not working, uh, if it is working, we know it's for motor. If it's not working, then it's somewhere else. And we don't need that just before harvest, do we? Right. I'll have to just put that there. Right, I've just closed all the sieves. Yeah, the bottom sieve's working now. I've swapped that ram round. So what I'll do, I'll put the, the top sieves back in um, and reconnect everything again and put the, that, the other electric ram um, back on the top sieve, see if it, if it is the, the actual electric motor, but I, I reckon it is. But we'll give it a go. Got one sieve back in. I put this one in, but I must have not put it in properly because it's jammed. So inside the combine, trying to get it out now. Oh, bloody going on. But he's sweating. But yeah, it's just jammed in his corner here because I, uh, I must have not put it in properly. But we'll get there. Just climbing to the tank to get this uh, bird's nest out. Something like a bird's nest, anyway. All right, I'm gonna have to stop filming because I won't be able to climb out otherwise. What if I chuck it? Oh, that chuck went all over me. A big grain tank, this, to be fair. Um, I don't know how much it holds. It's, I reckon, about six tonne, something like that. 
six ton of weight. But yeah, it's good, good tank. Same, same to cab. That's it from standing on top at Combine. You get a good view of everywhere anyway. I'll do a, a 360 of a farm. There's pigs over there. This is a back at Combine. That's your air filter. Engine obviously under there. Then you got all, all your pulleys and everything down the side. That's your arg what goes out. Fuel, fuel cap, radiator. Sometimes this blocks up with your air filter. You gotta jump off a cab and clean it sometimes in harvest. Wait for my dad to come back. I'm just changing some knives now because um, it's a two man job. I can't get the second sieve back in. So he's gonna have to give me a hand. I'll just flip you around and show you what I'm doing. So I've just taken the old knife off with these two bolts. Just knock them through and you put 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 your new knife in and put your two bolts back in. And uh, away you go. I've, I've done that one as well. Just seeing if there's any more. That, that's a little bit blunt there. I might have to change that one because that's where it cuts it down at the bottom. It's not too many. Maybe another two or three. That one's gone there, look. Still quite sharp though. Oh, but that one definitely needs doing because that, that cut, it cuts you up the bottom. So what I'll do, just undo them. Probably about there. I'll just grab my hammer. stuck on ah oh yeah it's metal it won't come out because it's hitting that metal so what i'll have to do i'll have to grab the auger and um to be fair that should come out i want it in a mad enough i'll put them there and that should just come off like that you can see it's all where is it am i taking the wrong one off i thought that was knackered but it looks all right that doesn't it right i'll put that one back in because i i thought that was gone right, put that back in right so put your nut put your bolt back in Put your nut on top, but I'll leave it there. Um, oh no, I'm gonna have to use two hands. Well, that's how, it, that's how easy it is to get a knife back in. I must have taken the wrong one off because that one was all right, that knife. So I'll just double. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna walk down the, the knife and not mark them with chalk so I don't take the wrong ones off. Last look at JCB. Um, he's coming tonight with a tractor and I'm not going to be here so my dad's going to be unloading it so I won't be getting a video, it's a shame really because I wanted to film it I'm going to call that a day guys uh, got, managed to get that sieve back together uh, got the electric motor back on sieves are all working so that, that one my dad got from uh, class we can go back so managed to get it all working again so i'm happy about that that's it costs 1100 quid that that part uh busy day We've got to change them knives pigs this morning at combine i i've been in and out the back of it non-stop i'm absolutely sweating i'm ready for a shower but anyway thank you very much if you made it this far don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one guys have a good one